is Landon from Design Visionaries, and in this video I'd like to show you how to use the list expression. The list expression is an expression within NX that allows you to hold multiple values in one single expression. Now I will show you what I'm talking about. I'll go to Tools, Expressions, and inside the expression editor I can create a new expression. Uh, we will call this one um, name, and you can change the type to list right off the get-go, but if you know how to type in the list values, uh, it will automatically detect the type and change it to list automatically. So uh, for a list, you want to start it with a set of brackets like so, and notice that when I page down, I haven't entered anything other than the brackets the type had changed to list over here. So it automatically detects that this is gonna be a list. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go ahead and enter some values and I want this list to contain a, an array of string variables. So for instance, we'll call this one um, block. Um, we'll call this one, uh, we'll just give it some crazy name like, uh, I don't know, mount. Uh, another one called plate, uh, another one called, um, hint, uh, let's see, bracket, I don't know, just stuff like that. And I'll go ahead and enter. So now I have a nice list here, and you can actually go in as far as, um, you can hit edit, and you can edit it further by going change the method here, and you notice that it's separated out into columns. And so I can go and add another column. Um, I think I have to do this right here. I can add a row, and what a row will do is it'll add like another array within an array. So you can have a list within a list, uh, each containing their own values. Um, I can also add a column here and type it in this way, and we'll just put hello. And I hit OK, and you'll see, if I scoot this out, uh, it added it inside the uh, list. So there's several ways to do it. You can type it in this way. You can go as far as changing it to this spreadsheet style uh, method of entry, and that keeps it a little neater for you. So we'll do another one, um, and we'll do it with that method. So we'll call this one um, serial. This will be like a, a set of serial numbers for this part. And we're going to call this, um, well, or I mean, we're going to go edit, edit. Oh, you know what? It doesn't detect its list. So if you want to do it as a list uh, without typing anything in yet, you're going to have to switch the uh, type over here to list first, like so. And then uh, and then when you go into edit and then advanced edit, it'll take you into this uh, kind of spreadsheet style editor. So we'll just uh, add some um, numbers in here. Uh, let me add another column, add a column, add a column, add a column, like so. And we'll just we'll just type in some random numbers. Uh, if you wanted to have a part that had multiple serial numbers and it was the same part but it was like configurable, um, this would be a cool way to try to store all the different serial numbers for that part. Um, so there we go. We'll just add that in. Hit OK. All right. So now the real question is how do I access the values in this because obviously if you try to reference this it's just going to give you this giant chunk of uh, array information so you want to be able to access the information from within the list uh, per item so there's a couple ways to do this actually there's three ways to do this um, so the first way to do it is through um, using a function this is meant for uh, getting strings only, and I'll show you this. So we'll go, uh, we'll call this one uh, name expression, like so. And I'm going to go ahead and hit edit here. So I can go to the uh, function command. And there's a couple different functions you can use. I think one is called get element. I'm just going to type element in here. It should get list element at. So get list element at will allow you to, uh, it, it asks for the list. So we're going to put a name. And the integer is the index of the list that you want, or the, which index in the list you want to fetch information from. So if I were to put two, for instance, 
uh, and hit OK, you'll see that it gives me the second element in the list, which is mount, and you'll see that in the value. <clears throat> now, the other way, if you want to get a uh, numerical, which it'll pass pretty much everything over numerically, um, is the nth function, an nth. So, so if I say serial expression like so, and I go ahead and uh, let's do an edit on this one as well. Click function and type nth, and here it is, nth. And this returns a given numbered item in a given list. So if I hit OK, it wants the uh, which item in the list do I want to grab? Let's say four. And which list? I want serial. Hit OK. And then I'll hit OK. And as you can see, it grabbed the uh, fourth item in the list. And now that is how you grab a numerical item out of the list. Now there's another way which was introduced in the uh, new expressions editor here in NX11, which I absolutely love this trick. So uh, there's actually a naming convention that you can put into the expression editor to create a cool drop-down option field for your expression. And it's really simple to do. So if uh, I wanted name, or if I wanted name to be a drop-down box, so what I have to do is we'll change this, and hopefully you haven't like referenced this, this expression yet, and you can change the name. Otherwise, you'll have to do this from the start. So you do underscore options, like so. That's what you're going to name it. And then now if you come up and make a new expression called name, and this one's going to be a string, you'll notice there's now a drop-down. And now I can pick which value I want name to be. I don't have to enter anything in. It gives me a nice little combo box. I just want one of these, so I can pick any one of them. And I can do the same thing for uh, serial. So if I was to go to serial, put underscore options, and then create a new expression called serial without uh, doing anything else, it automatically generates, it automatically sees that there's an options for this expression using the naming convention. So now I can just simply pick what I want. And so now, if I were to take this text here, and we want to reference this text to name, I can hit that, and we can do the same thing for this, for the serial, reference text, and I should have made it a, <laughs> I forgot you have to use strings for, um, for this, so let's go ahead and make another one, uh, serial, string and this one the formula for this we want to get the string value so i think there's one called string val here it is string value and it wants the uh, value so the value is going to be serial hit okay I like that and now it puts it in the uh the quotes so now i hit okay and now i can go back to my serial number and we'll say oh i want to use serial string like so. So now if I'm in the expressions editor and I'm working on a part, this is like a, a reuse part or seed part or something. And this part's going to be a bracket and the serial number, where did it go? There it is. Is going to be like this one and I hit okay. And notice it all changes just with little drop down boxes. I don't have to type in anything anymore. It's all set and done. So again, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries. And for more cool tips, tricks, and tutorials like this, check us out at designvisionaries.com slash nxtutorials. And also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.